Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Some of you born-again Christians, you have got to get in your Bible and learn spiritual warfare. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. There are a lot of churches that don't teach on it, sadly. So many of you are not equipped to deal with it. But we are in the dark ages now. That's what I call them, the dark ages. And we have got to become keenly aware and highly discerning of what's going on around us. Because there are demonic forces infiltrating the body of Christ in many subtle ways, through many subtle doorways. There are many Christians who toy with the occult, who toy with witchcraft and white magic, and they burn certain types of incense, and they, they do a little conjuring here and a little incantation there, and they think it's harmless because they think white magic is good magic. There is no, no such thing as a good little friendly demon. Casper the Friendly Ghost was a cartoon, not reality. So even though you may benefit for a moment, you know, when you deal with people who dabble in the occult, your spirits are diametrically opposed to each other. They hate the God you worship and you hate their demonic ways. But one thing about it, sweetheart, you cannot afford to fear because the Bible says greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. And if you ever see people, I heard this man, uh, one of my YouTubers, sent me a video and this man was talking about <clears throat> how at at uh you know some churches you get some people standing around late at night they gather on the parking lot and they're chanting they're not praying to god but they're chanting oh yes and they're conjuring and they're not pulling on the power of the Holy Ghost. They wouldn't know the Holy Ghost if it slapped them. The point I'm making is there are people out there doing their best to curse, block, hinder the body of Christ in every way they can. But you have got to know what is in your arsenal. Now, I remember when we went to the firing squad. I'm making an example. We were um, volunteering for the police department. I was trying to become a chaplain, but that fell through because a whole lot of changes took place and we ended up moving out here. But I did get to the, to the firing range. And we were taught how to aim and fire a gun. Now the aiming part was fascinating for me because I love aiming sports. I love archery, shooting pool. I love things where you got to aim up. So that was where it was fascinating. And I did pretty good. I kept it all on the thing. But the sad part is many of us won't even practice through the Bible with the arsenal God has given us. We won't even pick up our weapons. There's an old song that says, Are we walking into the enemy's camp? Laying our weapons down? Shedding our armor as we go? Leaving it on the ground? We've got to be strong in the power of his might. Prove to the enemy. We are the army of the Lord. And we've won the victory. 
Now, anytime you're at a place where you're intimidated by demons and you're scared of witches and you're worried about all kind of stuff like that, you know what, baby, you need to get in your word. Because Jesus said he will give you power over scorpions over. And yeah, we're dealing with the, the, the demonic. That's what he's dealing with when he says that. You will bind, you will loose, you will cast out, you will pull down demons and pull down strongholds and you will deliver people from demonic oppression. Listen, I'm, I'm trying to make a point. I hope I don't sound too uh, scatterbrained right now, kind of feeling that way. But when we go through, through this walk with Christ, what a lot of us don't know, we're not aware of, because they don't teach it in church. It's one of those hairy subjects. Ooh. Well, listen, demons are assigned to regions there may be a, a different assignment in Vegas than there is in San Diego there may be a different uh, regional uh, demonic stronghold in Brooklyn than there is in North Carolina there may be a different uh, uh, stronghold in Brooklyn than there is in Queens or than there is in the village or Harlem I'm telling you there are demonic strongholds now okay now we dealt with that but what you have to realize is no matter what the strongholds are and no matter what demons come at you you are in Christ Jesus and if you are in Christ Jesus Jesus is your weapon. That's the name of Jesus. Your faith is your weapon. The word of God is your weapon. Praise is your weapon. And prayer is your weapon. You have to learn to use it like I did. They had to teach me how to line up and aim up the gun. You've got to learn to use your weaponry. You've got to learn how to put on your shield to ward off the darts of the enemy. What are you doing? See, the reason that many born-again Christians are sitting ducks is because, number one, they leave their houses unlocked and all their windows open. And demons can come and go at will. Well, how is that, you say? What you watch on TV, what you participate in in your social life when nobody's looking, what you do in secret when you're in the back in the corner in the dark when nobody can see, what you read, what you entertain, what you look at, mm -hmm. ooh, yeah what you listen to, the kind of music you play in your house. You have got to be careful. Now, you have the authority to close every door and shut and lock every window. But the sad part is many of us are so dummied down by the dog on TV, by Netflix and 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 Hulu and 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 juju and whatever else is out there that everybody can sign up for. But you ain't signing up for the army of God. You want to sit back and have fun. Dummy me down, baby. Oh, yeah, I like that comedian. While the devil is ripping your kids' lives to shreds. And you get angry at your kids, but not at the enemy. But he's coming in and out of your house like he's a family member. Because we, as born-again Christians, will not put up a fight. Stop laying down and letting the devil rape your life like that. In the name of Jesus, get up and fight. 
You got what it takes. You got Jesus.